the main threat to air connectivity between Northern Ireland and the rest of the United Kingdom over the winter is the unprofitability of airlines due to the COVID restrictions. And in the medium term, of course, new routes need to be open to business centres in Europe. Yeah, yeah. Can the Secretary of State give an assurance that he will discuss with the, the Treasury uh, Minister, first of all, the reduction or suspension of air passenger duty for a limited period of time, and secondly, what help can be given to opening new routes between Northern Ireland and business centres in Europe? Yeah. Well, I, I say to the Honourable Gentleman, Secretary of State and I work closely with colleagues across government and in the Executive to uh, support the Northern Ireland economy and to uh, make the case on that air connectivity. There have been discussions with the Department of Transport and indeed the Treasury uh, on those matters, and as he knows, the Treasury uh, is reviewing the air passenger duty issue. Shall we uh, number 13, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Government and devolved administrations continue to work closely together to ensure a coordinated approach across the United Kingdom. As set out in our joint statement of the 25th of September, the UK Government and devolved administrations hold a shared commitment to suppressing the virus to the lowest level and keeping it there. Uh, the news about a, today's news about a vaccine will be welcomed across every part of the United Kingdom. I was pleased that we could agree a united approach to Christmas planning last week. Although each devolved administration controls its public health policy, we have been coordinating positively on our response to COVID throughout the year.